Process Street lets you publish checklists publicly. By default, all checklists that you create are going to be private, and nobody else is going to be able to see them besides people who you invite to your organization. But if you wish, you can actually make them public and shareable with anybody on the internet. To do that, come here to the share button and click this, I want it to be public. And there's a warning here because once you do make it public, this is a final step and you can't actually turn it back. So be careful before you publish anything publicly, make sure you don't include any private data in this checklist. Um, and once you publish it publicly, it'll actually pop up and give you, it takes a moment to publish it, but once it's done, it'll actually give you a link to the checklist that you can go and browse to, and also an embed code that you can actually embed into other websites, plus some share buttons if you wanna share that checklist on your social media. So this is what a public process looks like. Once you've published it, uh, people can browse to it. Um, you just gotta give them the link and they can actually come through and they can read everything uh, in the checklist. They can see all the checklist items and all the content. If they want to actually use this checklist in Process Street, they can come and they can click save and that will actually allow them to either create an account with Process Street if they don't have one or just log into Process Street and it will actually copy that checklist into their organization. So you can share your templates between people and organizations. And this kind of same pop-up will also come up if they do try to check one of the items as well. So if someone's, if you send this to someone and they come in and they want to actually use it, they can easily just come in and save it into their Process Street account. We also give you an embed code here. The embed code allows you to actually take these checklists and publish them on any website or blog that you want. So you could publish them on your blog, you could use them as content upgrades, you could put them inside membership sites, you could put them inside your website, for example, for instruction manuals and stuff like that. And they look really nice, they work on any size. They're responsive, so they also work really well on mobile. And here you can see uh, once the checklist gets small, it kind of collapses into one column and you can click through and click back or click next task like that. The same thing applies on the embedded checklists. They can actually save it directly from here and they will either create an account or log into their process trade account and it will copy over into their organization. Um, they can share the checklist and again, they can save it from checking an item. One thing that's really cool about this is we've actually given you the ability to add your autoresponder code into templates that you publish. And what that means is that basically every time somebody comes into one of these templates and checks an item and creates an account or clicks save and creates an account with Process Street, we will actually send you that lead. So if you're doing a checklist on how to do a set up a Facebook ads campaign and you're an agency that does manages Facebook ads campaigns and somebody comes in and they're trying to complete the checklist, you know that that person is interested in setting up Facebook ad campaigns because that's the checklist that they're currently going through and completing. And we'll actually send you that lead so that you can then market to them and try and convert them into a customer. So it's a really cool way of creating interesting content that people can actually interact with, that you can embed on your own site and you can use to generate leads and sales for your organization. And that's how public processes work.